What's up, simplifiers? Welcome to X is for delete in the organizing ABCs, which may come as a surprise to some of you if you watched yesterday's video. Stop back by tomorrow when we'll talk about Y is for you are not alone. So apparently my four and six year old have a better grasp of alphabetical order than I do. You'll have to wait till tomorrow for you are not alone. But today we're going to talk about deleting items and especially that digital clutter that you have hanging around the house. So over the course of the last 15 or 20 years, the technology revolution in the world has led to an enormous jump in the amount of digital clutter we all have around our home. How many of you have unread emails, undeleted text messages, thousands of pictures clogging up your phone. It happens to all of us, myself included. So today I'm going to give you some ideas on coping with and deleting that digital clutter. First up, remove your name from any email newsletter list that you don't open frequently or really just don't care about anymore. This may help keep your email inbox to a more manageable level. It's sort of like stopping junk mail from coming into your house. If it doesn't exist, then you don't have to deal with it later. The second thing I want to recommend is deleting all those messages that you don't need anymore. I'm sure that you have tons and tons and tons of expired coupons in your email or text messages that don't matter anymore. All of those things take up memory space. And although it seems like we may just have an unlimited amount of megabytes available to store things, eventually you will have to deal with that digital clutter because someone won't be able to send you a text message or leave you a voicemail message or get into your email inbox if necessary. So go back through and delete those messages. Even if it's like 10 or 15 a day, at night before you go to bed, take out your phone and start deleting, deleting, deleting. That same idea works really well with all of those digital pictures that you have. Most of us have thousands of pictures and videos on our phones. And with the advent of the quick click where you can take 30 pictures at once, we usually have about 29 of those pictures that we don't actually need. But how often have you gone back and deleted all of those extra files? Again, these things are taking up space on your phone or on your computer hard drive, and eventually you are going to have to deal with them. Plus, it makes it really hard to go back through and find that one picture that you really liked from the first day of school when there are 600 other pictures in front of that. This brings me to my next digital clutter coping mechanism, which is to create files for items to make things easier to find. Just like you'd put a file in a filing cabinet or a label on a box, if you group like items together in a file on your phone or in your computer, it's going to make things so much easier to find when you need them one day. I recently started doing this with my pictures of my boys. We had, I'm embarrassed to say, about 4,000 pictures in our computer on our hard drive. I started out by sorting things by time of year. So I would group things together by date and then all of those pictures would go into something that said fall 2015 or winter 2016. And then within that file, I would subdivide if I wanted to like trip to Chicago 2017 under summer 2017. What this did was make it a lot easier to go back when I needed to get some pictures for my son's school project recently because I could put my finger on where those pictures were right away. Finally, just like any sort of storage in your house, I recommend going through your digital files quarterly to clean out the stuff that you're not using anymore. On my computer, I have a download file. So if I download a form that comes through from the school or a recipe or a picture that I wanna use for something, they all go to this download file. And a lot of times I'll just forget that they're in there after I use it that one time. So so I'll go through on the change of seasons, which is a good signal for me as a time to do it. And I'll delete anything that I'm not using or move to the proper location anything that I want to keep. It's also great to do this with the pictures on your phone or your email. It just sort of gives you a nice deadline so that you have a time frame of when to get into those digital files and start deleting. So my question for the viewers today is how many photographs are currently 
on your cell phone. Comment below and let me know how many pictures you have or if you have any questions about digital clutter that I can help you with. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the remaining organizing ABCs or next month when we are going to talk about organizing your family in case of emergency. And I promise, promise, promise that I will be back tomorrow with the letter Y, which is for you are not alone.